Our Decision 2014 election coverage includes a closer look at the top races now. Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader is joined by our Indiana Insiders. Welcome to Indiana Insiders. I'm Kevin Rader along with Peter Rustovan, a Republican and Democrat Robin Winston. Let's start with the Republicans in the statewide sweep. Peter, an impressive win tonight, but not unexpected. Not unexpected, but still it's, it's historic. It's the uh, first time that there have been three women uh, running, heading the Republican ticket. All three were elected. We have seven elected statewide officials. Uh, five of them are women, four of them are Republican. Not, not, not very good for the Republicans if they're waging a war on women. I think we're doing Democrats pretty good. Democrats have something to cheer for tonight, though. They had some wins in, in Marion County. Right here in Marion County, we won the job of prosecutor and sheriff, which are great uh, precursors for next year's elections for mayor. Uh, it gives our candidates for mayor and city council the ability to look around here and say, we did very, very well tonight on the issues that matter the most, and that was crime and safety. Now, we look at the congressional delegation, no changes there, nothing unexpected there, but you're, you're taking particular interest in things going afoot in Washington. Well, it's interesting. In a, in a race that attracted little interest in Indiana because nothing really changed here. Nationally, Republicans are poised to take over the United States Senate. We've, you know, uh, as of 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, we'd already flipped three seats. Uh, Louisiana was called to be heading toward a runoff in which the Democrat incumbent consistently trails the Republican challenger on every head-to-head -head polling. So I think we are seeing an election of national significance uh, in which Indiana just sort of stayed where it was. Robin, how are you seeing the tea leaves? Tea leaves, uh, Yogi Berra said it ain't over till it's over. It's not over with yet. We still have some elections to go, particularly in Louisiana and possibly in Georgia. And ramifications for Indiana, we're down to 30 seconds. Uh, ramifications for Indiana, among others, are that Dan Coates assumes a senior position in the, in, in the Senate, will we'll chair an important committee. Ramifications for the nation, I think, are, are even more important in that we're moving away from a path we've been on. Final words, Robin? Andre Carson was re-elected tonight. Pete Viskoski was re-elected tonight. Those have been tremendous members right. of Congress. They'll continue to serve. All Robin right. could have Thank taped that much, a guys. year ago. <laughs> Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> And we put together an election guide on WTHR.com so you can see all the results from around the state. Click on Decision 2014 at the top of our homepage.